Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, I always say, um, after that, it's like, I have to think about what I want to say, even though I thought about it prior to pushing the button, but that's just who I am, I guess. Um, I have, uh, I have one in the water, one in the form and one ready to go on the wing. So what I'm hoping to do is, uh, get the, uh, one out of the form and get the varnish on it and then get the one in the water in the form and get the one waiting right there um, on the wing. So uh, that's what I'm gonna try and get accomplished. And we'll see, uh, yeah, we'll see how things go here. I've got a few, uh, few things to uh, take care of. Um, one thing you wanna do is, as soon as you put this leading edge plywood on, everything is locked in place. I mean, this D-Box, stiffens everything up so you have to ensure that your wing is perfectly flat and um, I'm gonna clamp the trailing edge down to the table and put some weight um, probably find a couple a couple pieces of angle iron or something um, put some weight on the wing to hold everything down and then uh, and then you can actually epoxy the uh, epoxy the leading edge in place so all right, well, enough talking. Let me get to doing something. All right. All right, so what I'm working out here is uh, I'm just using a dowel. Um, grab these here. Just picked up these, uh, these bungees uh, at Harbor Freight. Um, and then I just cut some dowel here. And what I'm trying to do and work out here is uh, is exactly... I want to make sure uh, the fit is really nice and I'm right up against um, my leading edge piece here, which is, uh, which is really perfect because uh, I wanted to make sure I was tight here because I really don't want to staple the leading edge if I don't have to. So um, just because then you have to go back and fill when you get ready to deal with that. So. So what I'm trying to do is I want to see when I get to the intersection here, since the middle piece is also bent, I'm, I'm looking at it this way. And what I have to figure out is if this edge of the plywood is not square, or if maybe my uh, piece shifted a little bit here because um, I do, <clears throat> I'm set where I want to be excuse me, at the seam right here at the top, but then it drifts when I get around to the bottom. And so what I want to check on, um, and then when I, when I wrap this, I was using a piece of eighth inch because I thought I had it worked out where three sixteenths was going to leave three sixteenths on or three eighths. Well, I would have three sixteenths on each side. I don't actually am going to end up having an eighth. Um, so this is uh, challenging enough to work with. Um, I can, I'm sitting here imagining what it's going to be like when there's actually epoxy on here and it's slippery. So, uh, but I'm going to work all this out ahead of time so that when I get to the epoxy, things will go a lot quicker and smoother. And once I get it positioned like this and bungeed in place, then, uh, I'll just come back and staple along here and uh, everything fits really nice and tight. I'll probably just shoot a couple staples in um, in here at the seams to make sure everything's locking in place nicely and, uh, <clears throat> and actually you know what when I pulled that up to an eighth that actually helped uh, the whole situation so um, get this one there. <clears throat> At any rate, since I have the next piece ready, uh, it's already bent, so it 
happens to be uh, happens to be in the form at the moment. I'm going to go grab it and pull it out of there, and then uh, come back and and see how we're doing here. I just want to see how it mates up here. So, all right. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm giving it a giving it a test here, and I've got this one uh, got this one lined up um, where it's going to go, and uh, I can actually I can actually push over that way just a little bit because um, when I get down here I only have an eighth left, and I'd really like to have three sixteenths so. Um, but this fits nice here, and uh, and when I get to the joint right here, this is actually uh, this is actually a perfect fit all the way around. So um, that's a big relief. These are the the little things that you kind of stress about along the way, like how are these going to mate up, and is it going to be good? And, but it's really good, so yeah. So that's good news, and so now I think what I can do is uh, <clears throat> just make a couple reference marks um, with this in position where I want it, and then uh, then I'll be ready to. All I have to do when I put when I put uh, the epoxy on and get it on here is I just have to make sure I've got this eighth of an inch here and an eighth of an inch down here at the very tip and and then I know I know I'll end up square and the next piece is going to fit great so um, you can't ask for anything better than that all right cool let me get it taken apart here and uh, and we'll uh, we'll crank on All right, so the first thing to do is uh, get the epoxy on the uh, plywood here. So um, I think I'll start, start this way and then I'll flip it around. Uh, and like I mentioned before, the goal here is to cover, cover all this uh, exposed plywood and I'll just go right on over a little bit of the uh, little bit of the varathane just to make sure that we're completely covered So all the epoxy is on there, and the next step is to get the epoxy on here, um, on the structure, so we can uh, get this thing all stapled together.
All right, so now it's time to get this thing on here, and I'm going to use my staple gun just as a... Uh, as soon as I find it. I'm going to use my staple gun as a, another set of hands. So, um, so what we're going to do... We're going to get this positioned here. And I'm just going to quickly throw in a staple here just to keep things held while I check everything. got those little reference lines I made earlier where if I can see my pin mark I should be good. Now I'm going to get a piece of eighth inch plywood. Just going to make sure we're good there. That's perfect. And that's perfect. So pencil lines or those uh, pen, pen lines really worked out. So then I'm just going to start in the middle and pull this around. So I've got uh, got all my bungees in place, and I guess I, I I probably am going to. I think what I'll do is I'll get the top staples on. Um, and I've got. Uh, Got really good glue squeeze out, so that's good news. All right. And then starting in the middle, I'm gonna put some pressure on this. I'm gonna work my way around. staple in the bottom. As soon as I figure out what's going on with staples. Thank you. 
All right. So that takes care of that. Just going to leave these in place to keep applying that pressure um, while that all dries. And I think uh, what I might do is just slide them to the side a little bit um, and put my gussets on while this epoxy is wet. So um, let me go get those. All right, so I was able to get through everything that I wanted to, which is like super awesome. Um, we got this, uh, we got this leading edge um, on, which went on extremely well. Um, had to use, end up using three bands in these two locations um, because after I had shined my flashlight in here, I could see that I needed a little extra tension, especially on the bottom, to pull that uh, uh, pull that plywood tight against those ribs. Um, and I uh, may actually, uh, I'm going to take a look at it again and just make sure that everything looks good. If for some reason it doesn't, I'll probably just shim a piece of wood in between there and that'll help pull that tight. Um, but it's nice and nice and tight all the way down the leading edge, which is amazing. I just have a few stapled in these three eighths of an inch. Um, I've got enough material here where I can actually put some staples in. There's only like three top and bottom. Um, it's not possible to hit this eighth inch piece of material with a staple. So counting on the tension right there. Um, and then I, uh, I did pick up some AN17s uh, and I got my uh, straps in. This one I actually got in the other day uh, looking good. So, and I got the uh, two coats of uh, varathane on the next piece that goes on. And this one's gonna get a little slot um, just to go to slide over this piece when it gets glued on, um, and slide over that strap. So I'll have to locate that and cut that. And then uh, I actually got the uh, last one for this wing anyway, out of the tub and into the form. So yeah, I got through everything I wanted to and um, super happy. And I just want to uh, say uh, thank you for following along. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss anything. And I'll catch you later.